Hi, I'm Melissa and welcome back and thanks for hanging out with us. And we are going into our fourth video. And on this one, I asked Joelle to join us. And Joelle uh, has been with my team for five, six years? Going on six. Okay. Yep. And I am taking my own advice and I hire from within. Mm -hmm. And we had an opportunity where Joelle was the director of the Paragon School of Pet Grooming for mm -hmm. most of her time with us. Yes, ma'am. And um, we have just slid somebody into your old position yes. and pushed you into all of the marketing and social media for all of the educational companies that right. I have. So congratulations. Thank you. And I exciting. love it. She's knocking it out of the park on this one. And <laughs> one of the first things that Joelle did was you put out a survey yes and we had the response was absolutely phenomenal yeah. and um, you put out the question it was just a very simple survey just one question what are the top two challenges that you face as a salon owner and over 200 of you responded with some incredible answers that fell under a particular theme and we found that there was three real common things that everybody struggles with and so we thought this it's time to start addressing some of those issues yeah absolutely and thank you for those that did respond and um as we're going through these videos the first video i shared with you some of the things that i look for when i am looking at somebody to come in and and to hire mm -hmm. or whether it is a prospective student and we're interviewing them and what is their opportunity to come in and and how well are they going to excel with a training program right. so what are some of those key traits that we look for for really um, great people to join our team or to enroll at our hands-on training center the paragon school mm -hmm. uh, our second video was what I consider and call the card game. And I've been using this for a long time. I think I really yeah. developed it early on with the Paragon School where we had to sort out the dogs so that we made sure we got the right dogs and the right level of, or degree of difficulty yes. to the students mm -hmm. at the right time to give them success. And ultimately, we have gone ahead and put it out into a professional setting and, as well and found that, boy, it can do a great job to really help Help you sort and code your dog so that it balances your day absolutely you know even if you're a solo flyer you know whether you have got an easy day or a tough day but it balances it out if you have a busy salon holy cow does it make your life it a lot really easier. does you know you're not overburdening one particular person with very challenging styles and someone else might be able to zip through their day that way, too, they have an opportunity to better their own skills. They're having right. more balance in the types of challenges they have with each type of dog. Yeah, exactly. And then the third video that we just finished up um, was taking those questions that, or those comments that you made, and I looked at every single one of those answers. I mean, that was daunting, just trying to sort through that it entire list. It was fascinating. It was. And, but what, what, what we did see was that there was very much a common theme running through some of your training challenges mm -hmm. and I think I, I tackled the top three that I was seeing repeating over and over again yep. and that was how do you find a reliable or how do you create a reliable team right how do you motivate the team mm -hmm. so that it's a fun place to work instead of someplace you dread going sure and the final uh big top three hitter was consistency how do you get people to get on board and get consistent because if you are in a salon situation and you're working for one place right. you got to have consistency going out the door so how does that happen so those were the 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 three videos that we've already put together and but you know what i really found is that the number one problem in this industry is finding finding help finding right. qualified help and we have developed this this program based off of the Paragon School. We've been teaching people how to become professional pet groomers since 1991, so a lot longer than you've been with us. Yes. But <laughs> I have been doing this for an awful long time. A great learning experience. Yeah. It's been. And I really want people to be able to find that help. And even though I opened a school, and it's one of the larger schools in the country, it's still, I'm, we're not being able to get the people that you need into your hands and into your salons. And so I really wanted to try to help you solve that problem. And training is, is tough. It is. It's not for everyone. It's not. And if 
that's, I think, one of the great purposes and the points of the programs that you've created is that it's not meant to be easy. It's meant mm -hmm. to challenge people so that they can rise to those challenges right. and become more than they thought that they could be. Right, exactly. And you have to have to stack it so that you create a situation that you're going to have a, tr a new st a new hire be successful and you can't just throw them a big like we were talking about this earlier <laughs> I'm going to start you on a standard poodle yeah or or, or that golden retriever that's oh. shedding like a banshee yes. he's probably like close to a hundred pounds right and and rude yeah I, you're setting your new student up or your new hire up to fail and to hate what they're doing. They are going to be heading for that door in a heartbeat. Yeah, we don't need them in tears on their second day of school. No, That's... and and we do. We, we train about 100 students every single year. Mm -hmm. And so we, we've got a fair amount of students going out the door. So we've gotten pretty good at this. And what we want to do and what I want to do is be able to help you create your own team from within. Now, when you're creating your own team, um, I wrote a couple notes here and and one of the things that I just love about being able to train your own and to cultivate from within is you you have almost your brand of approval or your culture mm -hmm. embedded right in that person. Yep. Because as we talked about in one of the previous videos that there is no black and white in dog grooming. There's lots of shades of gray. And that's where people struggle. When you're first yeah. learning how to do something, you want to know that one and one equals two. And in dog grooming, there there's so much variation in there. So yeah. you almost have to teach someone how to learn the facts and then how to quickly, independently integrate that into what they're doing. You have right. to teach them how to think on their own. Right. And you know, you want results quick, you want consistent results. And the only way you're going to have any kind of consistency with the quality of the work that you're turning out is, is if everyone is trained the same. Right. And you've got to have that really strong foundation. And there is no school in the country that's going to be able to put out somebody who's going to be able to join your team straight out of school, that's going to be able to groom to breed profile, that's going to be proficient, that's going to be able to do six or eight dogs a Without day. Without losing quality or safety. It's just, I, I just haven't seen it happen no and so but what I really want to focus on are those foundation skills so that when either we put somebody out in the field they can springboard to the next level Absolutely. and to the next level and to the next level but it will take time mm -hmm. and I really encourage our students to take that time so that they get those strong foundation skills it's kind of like a building you know if you didn't trust the engineer and the architect oh. And if that building wasn't built right, shoot, we're dealing with it yeah, right now with, exactly. with our with um, Whiskers Resort. We're doing a great big expansion on that. It's huge. And we found out that the earth <laughs> wasn't stable. And we had to do an awful lot to make that that Two, three ground. times now you had to go back yeah, and correct that problem? Yeah, more, yeah. more times than I want to yeah. think about. But see, that's, that's what's great about doing something like this, is if you have somebody who's already stumbled and fallen and made those mistakes and made those corrections and has tested it for you, then you're going to save yourself a lot of time and headache. So right. use something that works. And now that you've stumbled, now that you've made some of those discoveries along the way, now you know better. And if you ever right. do open up another outlet or another branch, you'll know which pitfalls to look for. Right, exactly. But you want to make sure that building and that, that foundation and the earth underneath mm -hmm. is strong. When we take it into any kind of a training program, and, and of course we're talking about grooming dogs, mm -hmm. if they don't, if your new hire doesn't have those solid foundation skills, the basics, the basics, they are never going to be able to get to those upper levels to become a really productive team member. Right. You're going and, to find that you're going to be teaching the same things over and over again because their underlying structure wasn't where it needed to be. Right, exactly. So what we're really going to look at is you've got to you've got to cater if they're going to bring somebody in and you're going to imprint your culture on it. Your culture is also going to be dictated by what your demographics are. You might have a very exclusive clientele. You might have a very high level of expectation, right. or you might be out in the rural sticks area and you get all those farm dogs and all you're getting are shaved downs. Yeah. Well, well, look at the companies you've got right now. You've got a really high-end clientele. Yeah. Even the breeds of dogs are different, let alone what their styles are going oh, to be. Oh, yeah. So when you come across town to where the school is, 
people are going to have different needs and expectations. Right. But you and also have to be able to communicate that to your guests as well. Exactly. And the culture between the different companies is very different. Oh, yes. And that's okay. But if you are training your own staff, now you can imprint your culture on your hires that are coming up. And I want to be able to give you that platform to build your team, to grow your own groomers, to hire from within and get that unbelievable team underneath your belt so that you can be as successful as you want to be. So Joelle and I would like to introduce you to the Paragon Salon Mentoring Program. And oh, I'm really excited about this program because I think we've had it out for a while, mm -hmm. but we are going to offer this at like a rock bottom price. But I want to be able to get this training program in your hands so that you can start working and building that staircase for your new hires to get up to the upper level. Now, you might know that you need a certified master groomer. You need this really high-end person, but you've just got this really exuberant new hire that's so anxious to get going, yeah. but they've never handled a dog before. Step at a time. One step at a time, <laughs> yeah. And you can't leapfrog no. all the way up. You've got to, you've got to build that foundation. Foundation, and that's exactly what this training program is set up to do, is to build that foundation. And it's the same foundation that we have been using at the Paragon School since the early 90s yep. to teach students. It's and broken down into bite-sized chunks so they can absorb it, they yep. can tackle it, they can they can feel like they've accomplished something and then move on to the next right. step. So one step builds onto the yeah. other. And we have been tweaking this program and tweaking this program and studying it and figuring out how to get the most training and, and how learners learn and so that they can absorb it. And we use three different ways. Mm -hmm. They are going to see it, hear it, and do it. And when you combine those three actions together, that's what's going to really give you success. Yeah. And we've already done all the hard work for you. We have created the curriculum. You're welcome. <laughs> and it's, you know, I'm excited because let me show you a couple things. And what you get when you do the, the salon mentoring program, it is our entire like main program all put together. Yep. But even though this looks like a CD case, surprise, surprise you get this great flash drive. And the flash drive has got the entire program right on it for you mm -hmm. so that you can either run it on a computer or you can print it off. So, you know, I am so excited to be able to bring this out. And if you, what we've done is we've taken the entire Paragon program mm -hmm. and put it on that flash drive. Yes. And you, when you get the flash drive, you are going to get all the workbooks and the answer keys so that as your, your student goes through, it's going to step them through. And if you pop, I'm going to pop this uh, syllabus or this particular one this is level one and it's going to give you all the information that you need and be able to tell you what is um, going to be in the level this is level one and then step by step what do they need to read what do they need to watch what do they need to do all the way through, step by step by step by step. We've broken it all down for you. Right. So there's no guesswork involved. It tells you each step of the way what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this program is, you know, we're, we're in a business of adults. You know, you're not going to have grade school kids coming in to work for you. You might have your own kids. But, you know, yeah. as adults, we learn a lot differently than we did when we were younger. Yep. We need to, like you said, we need to touch, we need to see, we need to, to experience. And so this program is designed for the adult. It is definitely designed for how we learn, how we retrieve information in a way that is not um, intimidating. Right. And that's what, you know, dog grooming should be fun. This isn't, yep. this isn't a hard skill. And people don't get involved with this industry if they're not passionate about what they're doing. So mm -hmm. if you find that great hire, and you're going to have to set it up so that you find that, that great person. But once you get them mm -hmm. and you set them on, the, on this path, it's absolutely a path for success. Sure. And, and within the workbook, you've got your, your syllabus. And if I can flip this open, you've got different sections to read. You've got questions and answers, so it's going to equip the student so that, or student, I'm so used to saying student, but for your, it's going to equip the new employee so when you do go to administer right. the tests, you're going to be able to have, um, they're going to be set up to succeed and Absolutely. do well with that test yeah. because adult learners, 
I don't know what it is, but they freak out at tests. It, it, especially if you've been out of a school environment for a while, mm -hmm. there's a lot more anxiety with testing. Right. And so we've tried to make this, you know, like I said earlier, it's, it's non-intimidating. It is broken down in ways that make it easy for anybody, even if they've been out of school for a while, um, so that they're not, you know, worried about passing or failing. What we're right. trying to do is create a better environment for the workplace. Mm -hmm. They know what they're doing so they can relax and just focus on the work at hand. And you can really settle into what your real passion is, which is, you know, working with animals. This right. allows, this frees you up to do that. And the other thing is, you know, a lot of adult learners don't necessarily, as I said, they get a little freaked out about the test, mm -hmm. but the tests are going to tell you as the employer, whether they got the information or not, whether they're learning it, whether they're retaining it. So I certainly, do you have to administer the test? No, you can call the shots the way you want it, but if you want to get the most out of the program, definitely run it the same way that we do. Mm -hmm. Make that student sit down, put them on a timetable, give them a week to do each particular section or whatever mm -hmm. you know it is. Maybe you've got somebody that's only coming in a couple hours a week. You're going to back it down and that's one of the beauties with the Paragon School is we have a wide variety of hours that people can take. This is portable so yeah. that yeah what we would certainly suggest is take that flash drive, pop it into the computer, print off the workbook for your new hire mm -hmm. and put it in a binder and give it to them and let them mark it up. You saw how much I mark up my books. I love highlighters. You are keeping and, those sticky note people in business. Right. <laughs> This is true. And, mm. and highlighters, too. You've seen my desk. I, yes. I love highlighters. So not only do you get the workbooks, but you're going to get the books as well. And we are going to send you all of the books. Let's see if I'm going to stand up here. That we use at the Paragon School with our training program. And the first thing that people have got to learn is just how a dog thinks. Now, there's a lot of books out there on training Pick one. Yeah. I had to pick something. So I did, <laughs> I, I, I picked Caesar's Way. Joelle, if you could hold those up for me, that would be great. So, and what we're really focused on is just more how the dog thinks. And I think mm -hmm. this book does a nice job getting the guts of the information to a new learner. And in fact, now this is a prerequisite. Yes. They have to take the test on this particular book before we'll even let them into the hands-on training program. Absolutely. Because we find probably the number one problem that we have with students learning is dog handling. And if they don't understand dog body language and dog psychology and how to win the trust and cooperation of an animal before they start, then we can't even work with them. We can't put sharp instruments in their hands. Absolutely so, not. And as I said, there's lots of training books out there. This just happens to be what we use in our program. So this is what we start our students out with. And then the next books in this series are going to be, again, if you don't understand canine terminology, we can't talk to one another. So I do utilize canine terminology. This, this goes a lot further than what the AKC Complete Book does as far as what's in the um, back section. Uh, don't, let these, don't let these books make you nervous. I know it seems like a lot of printed material, and not everybody's a fast reader. Mm -mm. Not everybody reads dog books for fun. But the way we've put this program together, again, with the syllabus and having everything broken down, is that you don't have to read this book t cover to cover in one sitting. We've broken mm -mm. it down so that you know, okay, on this section, you're going to read this section of this book, this section of this book. You're going to watch this particular video and watch read this particular section of the workbook. So it's broken down into smaller chunks. It's yeah. not as it's not as difficult it's as it sounds. It's not that intimidating nope. and people get through it relatively easily. And this is more just a reference guide. It's not a book that you're going to read through. And one of the things that I just love, boy, this is a brand new book. I'm it's breaking crispy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But it uh, really... Um, Look at those great illustrations. And it mirrors uh, what my artist did in Mo Notes from the Grooming Table. Mm -hmm. But this is a visual dictionary of terms. So as you are reading through the AKC book, and they're talking about terms and what certain dogs are supposed to look like, because the AKC book, let me trade you books here. 
for those of you that are professionals, you you know this book. Huh. Uh, this or you is, should. Yeah, this is what we, we absolutely live by. For every purebred dog, you've got the history, you've got the written standard. Yep. And a lot of times when you start getting into those standards, they're using terms that it's like Greek. It's, yeah. it's like a foreign language. And so you almost have to work with the breed standard and the terminology and that visual terminology really helps sink it in so, so, so that learner knows what something looks like. And it seems weird because it's new, but ask yourself in a couple of months what you thought then was difficult, and you'll find that I can't believe that I thought that was tough. Right. You just move through it so quickly. Yeah, you do. And then the other two books that oh, we include... Your favorites. My favorites. Well, I'd like to say they're my favorites, but boy, I'm going to tell you there's a lot of work going into these. But these are both of, of my books, mm -hmm. um, Notes from the Grooming Table and The Theory of Five. And these go, again, stair-step through, and the students can ultimately just totally follow along and see if we can find a groomable dog. But it gives the directions as you're going through for all of the different purebred dogs and this is definitely pet grooming, not show grooming. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I'm out on the tr out uh, at shows and I'm asking people, um, this is a little bit more of a basic guide. And w this is the theory of five, and it's broken down into sections of five. And I still remember when we were dealing with a large corporate account, and we would have students come in, and. We had to take our 600 clock hour program and knock it down into about 240 hours, six weeks. Wow. So we took a 15 week program, knocked it down into a six week program. Nice. Tough, but it can be done. Mm -hmm. Um, but when we were taking, we'll have 20 students coming in at one time and, and I would do the orientation for those students and I would ask them, how many haircuts do you think you have to learn while you're here? And I mean, you would get the white knuckles, well, you know, after the looking knees. at this book and this book, you think, I'm going to have to learn hundreds. Huh, absolutely. And that was the typical response we get. You know, I get mm -hmm. these really tentative 125, 200. And I mean, right away, they're terrified. They are. And yeah. it's like, whoa, breathe. It's okay. You only have five basic haircuts. And you're, what makes them different is or actually not five haircuts but five different jobs that you're doing yeah but what makes them look different is the size of the dog the density of the coat and the color of the coat and the texture and that makes every dog extremely unique but honestly it's the same patterns the same thing so that's if the you secret can, yeah absolutely so if you can nail the techniques and you can learn the terminology and you'll get that with practice and you do you're going to be able <clears throat> to get your students going at a much more rapid pace. So these are the, the books and the program, and we've put it all together. And, you know, a lot of people say, how long will it take? Well, it really... It depends. It does depend. It, it, you know how much time they have, how much drive they have. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hopefully you've picked the right people who share your thirst for knowledge. So, you know, the more invested they are in the program, the more quickly they're going to come along, just because it's a natural process. Right. The more you learn, the more hungry you get for it, and the more quickly you want to get into the rest. Yeah. And if you have stair-stepped not only the learning, but also tied in the monetary set goals. So, you know, when they first come in, maybe it's going to be a really low pay rate that they're going to be working at, mm -hmm. but as they achieve results, as they pass tests, as they move on to the next le level, their their paycheck is going to be tied yeah. in with that. That's a great way to give incentive to yeah. help somebody move through very rapidly. You're paying them based on their contributions to your company. Yeah. When everybody's successful, everybody benefits. Yeah. But what I was saying too is I asked people, which do you like better? Notes? Or theory. And you know, I get, I, I think it's a 50-50. Yeah. Some people really love this book because they can open it up and follow it step by step. Especially the first few pages alone, that gives all the basics for, you know, a brand new person coming first, in who's like never worked with First like 75, 80 pages it's are ridiculous. the core of what the entire book is about. Yeah. And this one, we have broken it apart. We have added comics to it. You're seeing Lisa Van Sweden's work again as she's the illustrator for Notes from the Grooming Table. It's fantastic. We brought her in over here, but we're also seeing her comic work. Um, 
she has a warped sense of humor. Love it. And boy, I, there's some fun comics in here. You should see what hit the edit room floor when we were putting this book together. But you know, learning is like that. You have to, right. it's serious, but if you don't enjoy it too, right. you're not going to absorb as much of it. Right. You got to retain it and yep. then you got to be able to, you know, say what you've done. Yeah. And the other thing we did is we ended up adding uh, photographs in this one as well. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of images of, from Lisa, but there's also photos in here. And that was the one thing people were saying with notes is they wish there were some photos. So we've been able to do that in Theory of Five. And it really just, I think, depends on what your learner is, which book they're going to gravitate to right. faster, better. This is a little bit more bulleted, capsulated, simpler, easier. But this one can also be used by your customer service team. So if you have a larger salon mm, where you absolutely. have not only groomers, but you have people up front who are checking in dogs for you, maybe setting up appointments, then if they're not groomers, that doesn't need to be something that holds them back. You don't need to pull up a groomer from the back and have a consultation. They will know mm -hmm. how to break down the dog to its five essential components and be able to ask those leading questions and find out, okay, I'm going to get detailed information for my grooming staff so right. they know exactly what you yep. want today. If you are training somebody to be a groomer, a stylist, they're gonna probably gravitate a little bit more to this book. Um, if you have somebody that wants to stay more basic, maybe you're, um, you're not doing more complicated trims or you're training a customer service representative, <clears throat> and this program that we're dealing with today is really more for a groomer stylist, but there's definitely points of it that can right. be used and, and at the Paragon the School you put all the customer service team through this book. I took book. them myself. Yeah, yeah. so yeah it, you know, it, it works <laughs> and, and now we can all communicate and yes. the key is is to be able to communicate to that customer mm -hmm. and to be able to do what they want and that's what we you know the the platform of this entire program is is to be able to communicate with your with your uh, fellow co-workers to help teach to bring them up so that they can ultimately communicate and give the customers what they want with their pets that are needing to come in for full service grooming so you're going to get an awful lot of Stuff. Oh, and the other thing we didn't talk we about. We didn't talk about the videos. Oh my gosh, there are so many videos. The videos, they're <laughs> fabulous. We've got uh, 25 videos that are on that flash drive, and again, really focus in on the core skills mm -hmm. as we, again, stair-step through. We're not going to start somebody out learning how to bathe that really heavy, fuzzy golden retriever. Mm -mm. You're going to start out with something like a beagle. Yeah. A Dalmatian and start building success early because I mean, can you can you mess up a beagle or a Dalmatian? If you put your mind to it, you can mess up just about you anything. You can. Yeah. But you know, even with something we we take almost the hair out of the equation. Right. And so they're focusing on dog handling skills, getting the dog wet, getting the shampoo applied, rinsing the dog. All the basics. All the basics. <clears throat> trimming toenails, cleaning ears, checking glands. Those are the basic foundation skills. And so we just take the hair out of the equation. And then once they get good with that and they get comfortable, now they're ready to tackle the next thing. And so maybe right. we'll throw a lab or maybe a light-coated golden retriever. or But we start working on up. And so... The foundation of all good grooming is going to be in that bath and dry. It's it's those that those core skills. Yep. Doesn't matter if how well anything else goes. If they're not squeaky clean, it's they're not clean. New and they won't be happy. Yeah. And it just blows my mind how many people out there that are seasoned. I'm looking at competitions, mm. novice level competitions, and. There's some Good work. To go back to the basics. Yeah. And so even if you're a salon owner training your team, you're probably going to want to take a peek at this kind of material as well because Absolutely. if you're going to lead by example, you need to know this stuff. And it's not... It's not rocket science. It's not tough. We're not taking it up to show level grooming. We're not sure. hardly even taking it up to certification level grooming, but we are focused on those solid basics. How do you bathe? How do you dry? How do you hold the clippers, scissors? How do you brush? And How they're do you done get everyday dogs? Absolutely. You know, so there will be instances yep. where the dogs may show normal behaviors that they mm -hmm. would in your salon. So yeah. that's how, that's what a seasoned expert does, right? They work with whatever they're given and you right. roll with the punches. Right. And if you're using that coding system, now, of course, you don't want to give somebody new a dog that is going to be aggressive or challenging. You want right. to start them out with those really nice dogs that are easy to, to work with. So okay. code those dogs throughout. Now, the best part is, as I've said, we have had this program out for a while. Mm -hmm. 
and I just really want to get it into more people's hands. So oh, we, we've got a, spe a special going on. A special. I love specials. Love specials. Let me tell you what the price normally is. The price for this particular program normally runs $2,649. And I'm just going to knock it out of the park because I want to help these folks. I just, I'm so tired of... What, of, you, what are you going to do? What are you going to lower gonna, it to? I am going to lower it to 587 bucks. That's it. You get wow. all of this workbooks, the books. Your 30 plus years of experience. 30 plus, yeah. And uh -huh. just the, the whole training program, stair steps, so that you can start working with your team, getting them up, getting your culture in there, getting them trained to do a great job. But you know what? I'm not putting it out there for very long. No. I don't, you know, I'm basically giving it away. Yeah. I and mean, so seriously. that's and not We've the invited price. you personally to take part in this. Not This is not something that we're putting out there for everybody. We've yeah. invited all of you. Yeah. So, and the invitation is only open for a very short amount of time. Yeah. We are opening the cart today at noon. Mm -hmm. So, whew. it's um, exciting. We're excited. So mm -hmm. you've only got a very short window of time. If you want to take advantage of this, if you've been struggling with that problem that so many people struggle with in professional salons, is finding that qualified help, and you're ready to take that next step, definitely take a look at this. This is a great bargain. You are getting my brain in this. Yep. And um, we have seen so much success over the years of training hundreds and hundreds of students. And actually, if you actually sign up, get the program um, in the next couple days, I'm tossing in some bonus items, and I have never done this before. She's inspired, folks. She's, she's ready <laughs> to start giving everything that she knows away. So. You know, if you're ready to make that leap, jump on board, click the buy button down below. And as I said, the cart's only going to be open for a few days. So, so you got to get on quick. Yeah, jump on board. I'm excited to do it. But when that cart closes, this special is not coming out again for who knows. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. We'll find out. We'll see what kind of response we get. So I hope that we're going to be able to see you on those coaching calls in the future. And good luck with your team.